Okay guys, so let's talk about Reptile. Reptile was considered to be around 13, 14 to 15 in, in the game on the tier list, and which made him essentially mid-tier. So he was a middle of the pack character. He functioned very different from other characters in, in how his core movement worked. Um, he had a slow start up on his, on his walk speed, but once you got going into his walk, he did have some of the best top speed in the game. Um, his dashing was some of the worst in the game, his forward and back dash. Uh, he couldn't, he was actually the only character in the game that couldn't block dash. So if you look at me trying to block dash backwards, I don't go anywhere. Same thing with forward dash block dash. And you can see that it's very bad, clunky, and you don't have any movement. Now, don't let this fool you, because I know you're looking at the title of the video and it says, the fastest character NRS has ever created. Reptile had a move that gave him insane ground mobility. And I've never seen a character like this move like Reptile does in, in this game. He had a move called Elbow Dash, which is right there. And if, if you can see that it looks like a forward dash almost. It, it looks like a forward dash, but it's not. This is actually an attack. So essentially, it looks like a forward dash, but it's an attack. So you could say it's a forward dashing move that functions like an attack. And if you come in contact with it, it'll hit you and then you'll slide on your back and Reptile will, will run past you. So this move was six frame startup. Six frames. It was the fastest move in the game tied with Kung Lao's uh, spin in terms of specials. And the difference was Kung Lao's spin was a range that worked point blank. Reptile's dash was six frames and it traveled very far. So characters would dream of punishing things that Reptile could punish in this game. His dash was the best punisher in this game by far. The distance it covered, the speed, the frame data, it all made him punish things that other characters could never punish. And getting more into the frame data, this move was six frame startup. It had like seven active frames and one frame of recovery. One frame of recovery. So if I do this, you can see that there's literally like no recovery. This move was almost unwhiff punishable. You couldn't whiff punish it. It was so good that Reptile could just do it, dash up in your face, do a poke, dash up down four, dash up throw even. It, this character, when I say this character was an animal, I'm not joking. This character was uh, literally a speed demon. Not even the Flash. The Flash from the Injustice games. Injustice 1 and 2. Not even the Flash moves as fast as this. Reptile in this game is faster than even the Flash is in his own games. Let that sink in. And to, to even explain how ridiculous it was. Look at this. So Reptile hits you with this, right? Elbow dash. Knocks you down, he's plus 40 or 50 off this. Since Elbow Dash has barely any recovery, he could do Elbow Dash and then do it literally three times to build meter. And then while you're rising from the ground, he still has enough time to Oki you. He still has enough time to go for mid or throw and go for things. So he could, yes, he could literally hit you. And then the dash was so fast in recovery that he could just do it three more times, build meter, and then you had to guess on his knockdown. And in, yeah, Reptile basically incorporated this dash into most of his gameplay for example you could also do a let's say you did a string right see how the string knocks your opponent away from you now if you were to cancel this into dash reptile could do something like this he could literally dash behind you before you even touch the ground and then launch you and he could create cool combo opportunities doing as such this was a basic bnb combo you can see how i dash neutral jump punch you force ball then end in a combo and this did just under 40% and it was good because it was a meterless combo. Now, if you were to block this move, it was punishable. That was how you had to deal with Reptile. You had to make sure you were always in his dead zone. You did not want Reptile to get outside his dash range because then the, the mind games and momentum he could create and how quickly he, he can go from position A to position C instantly and travel was uh, very quick for characters. It, it was very hard to react to this and contain Reptile. Reptile had many ways to set dashes up. Like for example, if he hit you, BNB Ender, he could end in slow force fall. And then you would have to block while rising to block the force fall. And then he could create a frame trap situation like this. Dash in and then you have to get strike throw, things like that. He had an amazing throw game because his four throw was plus eight on hit. And let's do some basic frame data math. Plus eight on hit. If you have a six frame dash ring or recovery, you could do things like this. Or throw your opponent, if you time it properly, you will dash right behind them and you'll pretty much go behind almost every wake up in the game. Your opponent will get up and whiff. And when they whiff, you can full combo them. So Reptile had a very scary four throw game. At any time he could do that, whiff something, you're getting popped and launched.
Now you're probably thinking, wow, that ground movement is insane. But we're not done yet because guess what? Reptile has an EX version of this move. He has an EX one and what the EX does is for one bar, you retain all the amazing properties of the normal move. So it's still six frames, it still has no worth recovery. Um, it's still uh, a, an extremely good mobility tool, but now what it does is this. Now it turns into a launcher and mid screen you get a slide. So you can take a quarter of your opponent's health. And in the corner if this hits, you get a full combo. Because Reptile can just go into a strength to force fall and then you're going to be losing a lot of damage. But the most insane thing about his EX elbow dash was if you were to block this move, it's plus on block. It's plus five on block. So that would be a frame trap. And he could do things like poke, go into another dash. He could jump out. He could just get creative and start pressuring you like crazy. So EX dash, one of the best moves in the entire game. Made him plus on block. They got rid of this being unsafe on block and made it plus. The catch was there was a gap between this. There was a 9 to 8 frame gap. So if you were ready for it, you could down one out of it. But you had to, to have very quick reactions because again, this is a 6 frame attack that can come out of nowhere. And a way that Reptile could uh, trick you and play is he could, because this move had uh, quite a bit of active frames, is he could time it so the EX dash would hit, would hit you later into his travel. And because you would always retain the same block data, the block stun, it would make it so the gap would be shortened. So instead of this having an 8-9 frame gap, if he spaces it so it hits later into active frames, the gap would be shortened to around 6 frame gap, meaning now some characters would not be able to poke out. So you would have to armor. You would always be able to armor out of it, but if you could poke out, if he spaced it, your poking all of a sudden would not work anymore because depending on how small you made the gap, it would blow you up. So yeah, this was Reptile in the game. He was a very, very fast ground explosive character, straight up animal. He was a he played the game very differently from other characters. He he was not like your typical MK9 character. He required a he was more like a specialist character. Because he required a lot of work, there was a lot of depth to him, there were so many different things you could do. The character, there was not one way to play him. The best way to explain it is he was a freestyle character, that's the best way to put it. Similar to Cabal, Reptile was a freestyle character in this game. And what, fr and what freestyle means is, there was no right one way to play him. You could play him however you wanted to. Some Reptile players would zone more. Some Reptile players would be more aggressive. Some, some Reptile players were all about the trapping and the Oki setups and all that stuff and the knockdown. The character could adapt to the situation, he had a very flexible playstyle, and like I said, there wasn't one way to play him. It, it just depended on your playstyle and the matchup and how you wanted to play the character. But yes, this was basically Reptile in a nutshell, and a look at one of the most craziest ground moves NRS has ever created. And I know you guys have been asking, like, hey Rio, you, you should do like a sample video at the end just to show us how the moves look like in a match. And for this video, actually, I compiled together a small sample footage of what Reptile could do and look like in a real match during it. Thank you again so much for watching.